In this video, I'll be showing you how to create this skate topper in Cricut Design Space. For this project, I used fonts, shapes, and the slice and weld function. So here I have the resultant image, and in this case, I'm going to hide it to show you how I created it. So I have here grouped the layers that I used to create it, and basically these are the design elements in this design. So first of all, I created some hollow circles um, using the slice function and the circles. And I'm going to show you how to do that, but I just want to walk you through the elements. I also added some text. And then I also added squares that I converted into rectangles. So let me go ahead and hide this so I can show you how I did this. So first of all, let's go ahead and design the hollow circle. So I'm going to insert the circle using the shape option on the design panel. And then I'm going to make a duplicate of this circle. So once I have the duplicate, I'm going to make it slightly smaller uh, to 3.85. So if we can see, it's a little bit smaller or thinner, but not too thin that could break, right? So when it, once it's cut. So I want it to keep it at a decent size. So I'm going to select the layers and click on Align Center. And then I'm going to use the slice function. If you're not familiar with the slice function, I have a tutorial showing you three different ways that you can use this function in Cricut Design Space. So now I'm going to click there. And as you can see, I'm going to end up with three layers. So here I'm going to remove these two that I don't need. And then I have here the hollow circle that I want to use on my design. Now, for the design of the cake topper, I actually use three circles. So let's see. If I unhide, the design, I have three circles, so I'm going to make three duplicates. One and uh, another one. Okay? So now that I have the duplicates, I'm going to place them in the way that I want. And I'm going to see what exactly I move this to the side. Okay. So I'm going to unhide these, and I'm really not using perfect circles circles as you can see so I'm going to unlock the proportions of this shape and I'm going to change it slightly to get kind of the design I'm looking for. I'm going to do the same thing with the other ones and then I'm going to sort of align them in a way that I want so let's change it up slightly. Now the final design looks like this let me unhide it it's this one and basically what you can do is also change this slightly so let me unlock the proportions of this one as well and then we can kind of now move them around the way we want so I am going to rotate them slightly okay so now that I have this sort of in place I want to kind of meet them here okay something like that I don't think I'll be able to get it perfectly but this is how I did it um, so I'm gonna select this layer here so something like that and then we are going to maybe modify this slightly so it's not too much. And you modify it until you kind of get what you're looking for. Um, so in this case, I want to kind of bring this a little bit like this, maybe rotate it slightly. Um, so everything has to be together, joined together. So we are going to use the weld function. And if you're not familiar with this function, I have a tutorial showing you three different ways to use the well function to create designs. But in this example, I'm just going to select all of the circles and then I'm going to click weld. As you can see, I'm getting this sort of design that looks very similar to the one on the right. And I am now going to add the text. So to add text, you can go to the design panel, which is located on the left, and click on text. Here I'm going to write happy, and then on a separate text, I can duplicate this one. I'm going to add birthday. 
Okay, then I'll go ahead and select the fonts. In this case, I have a font that I downloaded online called Frosted something. So let's see if it comes up. So this one, Frosted Cupcake. And this is the font that I want to use. As you can see though, the, there are some lines on the fonts that are too thin and that will be a problem for the Cricut to cut it. So it's going to be flimsy and it might not come out really good. So I'm just going to make it thicker. So how do I do that? Well, what I'm going to do is add some shapes and use the square. Then I'm going to unlock the proportions and I'm going to make it into a rectangle. Once I do that, I can rotate it exactly the way I want. And then I'm going to overlay it on top of the line that I want to make thicker. So in this case, it will be that. I will start with the letter Y. And then I'll just... So I'm going to move it slightly. And as you can see, it's a little bit thicker. Now I have some extra piece here that I don't want, so I'm going to use the slice function. So in order for me to do that, I'm just going to use a square. And then I am going to slice it. Let me move it slightly down. Click slice and now I can delete the layers that I don't need. Okay, so there you go. The Y is a little bit thicker and then you will repeat the same process for the other letters. Typically what you will do is try to find a font that is thick enough so that you can get a good cut. But I really like this font and that's the one I want to use so that's why I'm going through the trouble of doing all of that. So now that I kind of show you how to fix that, I'm going to change the font type for birthday. So birthday also has the same font type, so I'm going to select it. So I'm going to place the birthday text exactly where I want it. In this case, I'm going to also resize it. And what I'm looking for is for an overlap that is not too obvious that looks bad. I'm going to move it slightly because I don't want to lose the B. Okay, that looks good. And now what I'm going to do is weld the layers. So I'm going to weld happy with the circles or the design. And then click weld. So as you can see, they are now attached. But before I do that, and I mentioned this on my weld tutorial, you should make a copy because you're going to lose the layer. And I don't know if I'm going to like it or if I want to change it later. So I'm going to make a duplicate of this. Otherwise, I'm going to have to do it all over again. So I make the duplicate and now I can hide it. Once I made my duplicate, I can now apply the weld function. So I want to click happy and this. So the layers that are selected here are, will be darker gray. So then I'm going to click on weld. And now you can see that it's welded. The machine is going to cut around the black lines, which are called contour lines. They're really hard to see, but if I change the color, you will notice them a little bit better. So I'm going to do the same with the word birthday. So for that, I'm going to select the layers and I'm going to click weld again. Now that we have attached this, we need to somehow attach the letters. So for that, I used this lines and the star. So to make the lines, you can go to shapes on the design panel and select square. Once you select the square, you can click on the unlock proportions option, which is that lock to change the proportions of the, of the square and make it into a rectangle. So I'm going to leave it there for now and I'm going to make a duplicate because I need another one to join the letters of the word birthday. So I'm going to kind of make it longer there and let me zoom in. And I need a little bit more. Okay, so now the letters are joined using this rectangle or this line that I made using the square from the shapes menu. I'm gonna go to the shape menu again and then click on the star. And I'm gonna resize the star to the size that I want. 
and that will be what I'll be using to attach the word happy and birthday. So let me resize it a little bit. I'm going to zoom in. And as you can see, I can rotate a little bit more. Bigger. And I can make this slightly thicker, not too thick, so it doesn't look bad. I think that's too thick. So what I can do is reduce the size of this slightly. Okay, and then there you go. So I'm now able to join the two words and I'm also attaching the birthday word to another at another location which is here and that would help me to keep it stable and not flimsy. So I'm going to zoom out and now I can select all of my layers. Oops. So I'm going to select so this with the star will be one weld. Let's see. Okay, there it is. And then when I weld this with the word happy birthday, which is here, then the result will be that. So as you can see, it will cut all of that in one piece. And the last weld I have to do is this one. So let me weld it. And oh no, something happened. So let's go back. And basically, the line is too up and it's going to overlay it too much with the letter D. So I have to bring it down a little bit or move the design up so that it doesn't cover the empty space of the letter D. And then I'm going to redo it. Okay. One recommendation though is like I would have liked not to have these spaces here because it's really difficult for the machine to get such thin cuts but um, you can always modify it so that's a recommendation after I made this I was like oh it looks beautiful but I wasn't really thinking about the spaces here so I would recommend moving this slightly to get a better definition and as you can see I have more spaces here but basically you can play around with however you want to make it and of course it's not going to be exactly the same because you might have different fonts right so it's not going to be quite the same but now you get the point of how you can make it so I hope this video was useful to you you can leave some comments if you have any questions in the video write them below and you can also find me on social media if you have any questions I can respond faster and you can send me pictures if you have any problems and I'll be able to help you